Oh, this is this is one of my one of my things. Like I don't care about towers, <laughs> and I get punished so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, it's Hillisang here and today I'm gonna be watching some of my best plays throughout my career sent by you and we're gonna rate them and react them. So let's get into it. I mean he was already gonna be stronger at level eight regardless, but this is gonna be an even bigger oh, spike. Shockwave. Nice shockwave! Curve has to oh Hillisung! Oh my god! Oh my god, Hillisung! What else can you say? Yeah, I mean I remember this. Uh, because it was very, very, very hyped game, and I had to show the world that I was a, I was a good player, and I was trying to make a big play because I was playing a lot of trash back in days, and I was living for these moments where enemy is under pressure, and you have to predict what is his uh, move gonna be. I mean, I remember exactly what happened. It, it was like 10 years ago, but I still remember. Okay, so I, I think it's. Like I didn't predict his flash, but I predicted that he will move in that direction like quickly. So I was thinking that he might be will uh, eat the wall or he's gonna like jump there. But I had a feeling in the game that he has to. The only way that he can escape is gonna be in, in this direction. So I, I just force him to move to, with this uh, in this direction with my flash. So yeah, it looked amazing because I could also like flash play as well. So he had to like move and react fast. So. Uh, I put a lot of time on him by flashing forward. So I think this play okay, is kind of hard to, to rate it, but it was one of my first like really, really, really big plays. So I don't know how where to put it, honestly. I think it was maybe an S tier just because it it looks it looks very good, but it requires enemy to like misplay a lot. So it's like it's like a good play from me, but it it enemy has to misplay for it to work so i think it's just an s tier i wouldn't put it in 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 the best tier professor just because i feel like it's an old play and not old play but it's it's been a while you know it's been like what 10 years i don't even know eight years so i feel like nowadays uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't be as as good but for back in for the for the year that it was filmed it was like very very good so i think it's an s tier okay so the idea behind was that i was Actually, playing a lot of mid lane. I was playing Lux, Anivia, Uriana. These were like my favorite champions, like mages. And um, with URL, with Unicus of Love, they needed a support to play with them. So that's how I changed to to support. But before that, I was playing mid lane for them and playing some go for lols and this type of things. I, I even remember playing against Alex Hitch, uh, mid lane, and it was it was very fun. Um, no, I I don't think I ever like. I was aiming to be a pro. I was just playing. Like I even remember when I was uh, when I qualified to to LCS back in the day. I I was not even aware that 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 was the step that I had to get to get to LC, LCS. I was just I knew it was like a very important win, but I was not even aware what it gave me if I win. But uh, I could feel that for my teammates that it was very like very big game and um, the stakes were high. But I didn't even know what it meant. So, and that it still happens that I sometimes I'm not uh, even aware. But just because I'm so focused on my game and like what uh, I have to be doing in the game, and I'm watching votes a lot, so it's hard for me to be also aware of like what is it giving me, even though it sounds funny. Um, but yeah, sometimes I'm just unaware of these things. Instantly exhausted onto Exile. We don't have time for that because now Splice have gone for the back. There is yet another Baron, and Xerxes is nowhere in sight right now. Hellasang descending! What? Oh, no way! Hellasang just stole the Baron! Oh my god, I actually, when I, when I saw that there was a Lulu in the play that was sent by the player, by the fans, I knew it's gonna be this play. Just because it's probably one of my few Lulu highlights. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we were like very behind in this game. If I, Oh, it felt like we were very behind. Actually, we were not that behind. But our comp was like very wonky and it felt like we can't like win in a way. So I was not even happy when I stole the Nash. I was just trying to like see like what we can do. But there was not much we can do in this game. Our, our comp was like very hard to execute. What uh, what happened is like we didn't have... Um, we, we lost the Nash, right? We didn't have any vision. They were like all there, we were in base and I don't even know like what happened. Oh yeah, we got caught. 
we don't even have TP by that time. So I just tried to steal it and I stole it with my Q and this is it. Like I, I tried to time it with like the Varus Q as well, but uh, he was not in position so I had to just try to do it on my own and it it worked. We got the Nash, we lost the game anyways, but it was a, it was a good good try from me and it happened to work. I don't think it's like a that good uh, good of a play, so every time I see this in like highlight or anything, I'm, I'm like, yeah. It, 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 it doesn't really, it doesn't really give me like so much hype just because it's like very unlikely that I can do that play again or that enemy will miss the smite or something like that. So it's, it, it worked out, but I don't think it's like a, it's a great play, you know? So I'm just gonna put it in, in C. <laughs> Wave setting their sights on that one. Every time they do this though, you can see Nitsky still fishing for these bubbles. That said, Adam taking oh, out Hill is now in the midst of the entire team. That's gonna be the ulti coming out. Patrick locked up in the midst of everybody, but now Dan looking to turn it. It's the meat grinder of Fnatic. They do not have the damage where they need it. XL. The first of Rumble, but let's take a look at this one one more time. Rise on Hill W's forwards onto the creep, and then Q flashes Patrick. When Patrick E's, he ults him. And then the equalizer comes in from Whippo as well. Patrick locked up, rooted. Adam comes in with the E flash. Finishes off Patrick and there, the fight's won instantly. Uh, <laughs> I remember this game that we were struggling with uh, Engage because uh, we didn't have uh, a lot of Engage on our side. So I told my team that I, I would just Engage on the mid wave just because Bram can do that. He's one of the one in the few positions in the map that you can Engage with Bram is like on the mid wave. And I remember that Ezra didn't have flash, no, 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 he didn't have summoners and he was like in, in my range. So I just engaged and like we ended up killing him, which was very, very crucial for the game. And everyone followed up as well. So it was a great play. I remember that in the game, we were like very desperate for, for engage as well. That we were uh, calling that we just have to, we just ha have to get on top of him and we can, and we can win the fight. And I remember that uh, I think me and Bupu, uh, me and Bupu uh, had conversation with uh, in the game that I would just I would just flash on him and if you guys are there he would just die and we executed it perfectly in the game so it was it was very good play okay let's rank this play I think it was a very needed play I don't think it was like that good of a play on its own but I feel like it was very well executed and like all the pieces were there, like my team was there, I knew he had no summoners, I saw the angle of the of the play in, in the game and I communicated it, so I feel like it was... I'll put it in S tier as well. I think it was a, it was a very well executed play. It wasn't, I feel like, that hard. I feel like it wasn't that hard to, to see and execute in the game, but it was like very needed, so I, I would say it's S tier. It's, it's very hard to describe my playstyle. I like to... Min, min max everything. I like to play on the edge. I like to also test the enemy if he can. Like I, I'll do like mistake on purpose just to see if enemy can capitalize on it. And I'm gonna get like a feel of like how good is the enemy. Um, but yeah, it's very hard to frame my playstyle of like a ward or something. But playing on the edge and like, testing the waters and seeing. Like how enemy plays with, uh, if you are not in fog, if they respect you, if they don't respect you, if like how they how they move on the map as well. So there, there's like a lot of small things that I do in game, uh, but playing on the edge is probably the the most accurate way to frame it. Takes the explosive charge and overall across that first couple of trades here, it's Fnatic coming out on top. Oh, Hillesang playing so aggressive, going for every single Q, hits another one onto Mickey, no heal, Reckless cleanses, thinking he had heal. That's a mistake there from Reckless. Ignite goes down, so it's a trade-off for... Let's imagine Reckless did have heal there and he saved this Voino. So it's a trade-off of combat summoners, that's what's important. But Fnatic still have heal. Hillesang oh, looking for more! For Mickey. Oh, oh, they both the flash! Hillesang's in there, flipping heads! Oh. oh yeah, I'm gonna do the trick. Okay. Okay. If you see somebody doing that, I, there is... I was the first... I was, I'm very glad of this play. I, I was the first one to do that was uh, able to this to do this jump with Pike, so it's it's like a like I feel like I've done it in a few games this type of jump, and it always gives me like 
like a big advantage, so it's a very OP trick to do on Pike. And I remember it uh, that I mean I will, I will always play like super aggressive with Pike level one just because his kit is like very strong for level one, and if you can get the cheese with the jump over the wall, which I actually did in this game, and I got like two flashes somehow, <laughs> which is like very very big because yeah Pike. Uh, Pike is very strong if enemy has no summoners. So uh, if enemy have no, no summoners at minute two, then <coughs> they have to respect a lot. Then you can influence like mid lane for example and, and like invade. So it's like it's like very OP trick to do. Okay, so let's rate it now. I feel I feel like this play is an eight here. I don't think it's like it's like bad or like easy to do. I don't think it's like something like insane. I think the outcome was like insane. But I feel like I should get like maybe a flash at most, but the outcome was like very good. But I think the play was just good. So I'll put it in 8 here. Okay, so first why I like the champion so much is because you can do so much with it. And you're also a champion that can kill people on your own. So I, I think that's one of the, the, the strengths or like one of the things that I liked about the champion. Is just because he's very, very independent and very strong on its own as well. Obviously, you need somebody to, like, you're not like assassin, but you can play him like an assassin as well. So it, it gives a lot of pressure on the map, and he's great at taking vision on on your own, great at roaming the map, and he has damage. So that's why I like, uh, I like, I like the champ a, a lot. And also, you can bait a lot the enemies, and I feel like I'm good at this, baiting the enemies to try to think that I'm inting and then uh, they die so I feel like this is one of his strengths and that's why I think to the second question that's why I think I'm like very good at it because I know how to bait the enemy with this champion and I know his strengths uh, I know I, I know like his limits very well and I know how to to abuse his strengths and I also know how to deceive his weaknesses so I feel like that's why I'm like very uh, successful on this jump. In the bot lane, River Hillisang is doing what he can to run into the base, but Yankos is on the prowl. It's, enough. it's oh, not he gonna do it! Line. He got the edge of my shield just in time! Hillisang still trying to take down the inhibitor. Can he get it with these bound up minions? The Elder Dragon, not the target, G2 pushing him mid. Hillisang still there on the inhibitor. Is he actually gonna be able to do too much here with the ignite? He knocks that comes up, he's just looking for the inhib. Forget about the bot lane, look at the mid lane. There Double are mountains are the target. That's oh, G2 pushing mid. They have that bound warping. They're bound warping in. G2 no. are going the base, the bound buff though. They can get the recalls, how many can they stop? GT, you gotta stop them all! You gotta stop them all! They're in the base! GT, we're looking for the win! Can they pull it off? The round warp! Once again, the red wheel goes out, they play through the next end! Oh no! No way! No way! The next end towers at the middle side, GT! Get the first one, but reckless and inner side! Get in the back door! Oh my god! Let's go! Flip me away! I mean, I remember this play is... Um, we contested Elder Drake, I think? And we lost half the fight. And the only thing that I could have done, I felt like, is to like salvage the place uh, to go to the inhibitor and try to take it. And I felt like, <laughs> I mean, they sent the Javan to stop me from it, and that this Javan was not doing any damage. I felt like I was stronger than him. And I got the inhibitor, and they didn't manage to end the game. And then I remember, yeah. Oh my god, I remember the comms or so. It was. Like I remember calling if they if they if they went to to push the mid wave we were just gonna go for Nash and then if they go if they go come to if they come to us we're just gonna go over the wall and just gonna run to the to the inhibitor to the nexus and we even had I think GP ult at that time which we didn't think about in the game because we could have just ulted the wave right now and then they wouldn't have any wave to stop it wouldn't be even close but uh, in the game uh, me and Rektas just Executed the plan B is like we take the Nash and then we just jump over the wall and we just run to the Nexus it, Then they have to follow us or they have to base race against Nash and we knew that we're gonna we're gonna win it so it was like it was like super hyped and It came up This play was available just because I could take the inhibitor <laughs> before that so it was it was kind of crazy sequence Okay, let's rate this Yeah, this has to be the the best from the clips that uh, was sent just because there were a lot of emotions we just beat G2 
and it was on back of taking inhibit after lost lost fight with the support against jungler and and then a cool base race where we me and reckless just go and hope that we can reach enemy nexus before they reach ours and it was very very good uh, good feeling after the game so that's why I was rated the best they lost their bot tier one uh, it sucks you just have to move on from it I mean Jezu is pretty strong he's got his essence to reaver now that's fine well, it's not by oh! <laughs> what, what the oh that's quintessential <laughs> hilly though isn't it <laughs> oh, oh my dead! god what, what the hell just happened <laughs> hilly 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 man Oh, this is this is one of my one of my things. Like I don't care about towers, <laughs> and I get punished so hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, usually I would I would not even flash this ultimate. I would just die just because. <laughs> like, look at me, I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, so what happens here is like I saw enemy just base in front of me, and I wanted to like push the wave as soon as soon as possible, but I didn't calculate the last tower shot, and that. That caught, caught me off guard, just because I have to base anyways, because I wanted to get my stacks and base for wards and open them up when we are all opening them up. But uh, the last shot was not calculated and it was it ended up really bad, but it is what it is. Sometimes uh, this happens to me. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending the clips over and... Let me know in the comments below how I did and what was your favorite clip. So yeah, see you later. Bye bye.